Astronomer and Pulitzer Prize winning author Carl Sagan died of pneumonia today at the age of 62 after a two-year battle with a rare blood disorder that led to cancer. A gifted storyteller, Sagan explored the mystery of the universe in lectures, books, and an acclaimed television series. He died today of pneumonia after a two-year battle with bone marrow disease. The astronomer, educator, and Pulitzer Prize winning author died of pneumonia at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. Astronomer, educator, and Arthur Carl Sagan died this morning of pneumonia at a cancer center in Seattle. He had been undergoing treatment for a bone marrow disease for two years. King 5's Kathy Kiyomura joins us in the newsroom now with those details. Kathy. Carl Sagan brought the cosmos to common people. Carl Sagan passed away today. He had pneumonia, a complication of his bone cancer. Sagan's name was synonymous with astronomy. He made the study of the stars more interesting. He did so enthusiastically, and he was always excited about discoveries made in outer space. Sagan came close to death twice after being diagnosed with a blood disease in 1994. To the American scientist, teacher, author, television communicator, Carl Sagan. He died today. The country loses a great enthusiast. He helped millions of us to see farther and understand what we were seeing. That means, at the very least, that there is a uh, source of water on the moon. Only two weeks ago, he told Ted Koppel he was confident he was getting better. Uh, I'm terrific. Uh, I've been uh, uh, very, very lucky in that. Uh, Looks like I'm out of the woods. We will miss Carl Sagan. Not, not, not. Americans were first introduced to Dr. Sagan, the astronomer, back in the 1970s. The moon shots were finished as NASA embarked on less glamorous projects. But Carl Sagan was able to keep public interest alive by making it all so appealing. He wrote 30 books, won a Pulitzer Prize. The author and astronomer became a regular on The Tonight Show. You want to go exploring. And the New York Public Library is where a young Carl Sagan first discovered astronomy, and by the time he was 26, he had earned his doctorate in astrophysics. He taught first at Harvard while working for NASA. He moved on to Cornell to begin a 30-year career as a teacher. Dr. Sagan was convinced that we are not alone in the universe. He said he would hate to die and never know for sure. But he died this morning in Seattle from pneumonia, the complication of a bone marrow transplant. At 62, a short life for a science teacher who's done a lot to put life in perspective. I believe our future depends powerfully on how well we understand this cosmos in which we float like a mote of dust. And so we choose, obviously, Carl Sagan. From when I was a little kid, he said the only thing I really wanted to be was a scientist to interrogate nature. That's where the fun is. And that's what he helped us discover as well. Carl Sagan, who died today. Left millions of fans around the world when he died early today at 62. He was the first celebrity astronomer because he was the one man who could explain it all. He made the complexities of the universe understandable. He made the cosmos fascinating. Carl Sagan was the people's scientist. As a child growing up in Depression-era New York, his imagination was captured by the stars, and he decided to become an astronomer. And later, he became a star. It was the PBS series Cosmos that made the academic a celebrity. For 13 episodes, it retraced the evolution of the universe and was watched by at least 500 million people around the world. For Sagan, it was all about sharing his love of science. We find out grand issues like uh, the origin, nature, and fate of the universe. Susan Bonner looks at Sagan's life and work. The planets of the galaxy might be filled with microorganisms. His name has become synonymous with his field of study, space. Carl Sagan explored it with rigorous science, discussed it with passion. If you're stuck on one world, then you only know about what's possible in one world. I'd like to begin with just a personal remark. I've been in uh, Seattle for the last five months uh, fighting a uh, life-threatening illness, uh, which uh, it looks as if I've surmounted. And uh... <laughs> Sagan returned occasionally to Hutchison for treatment. He was admitted when his condition worsened about two to three weeks ago. When he died, Sagan was surrounded by family. Are we? Uh, an exceptionally unlikely accident 
or is the universe brimming over with intelligence? He spoke a language regular people could understand. He wrote books. He even had his own television series. And uh, this is where we live, on a blue dot.